To start, you want to design up your preferred design. For this tutorial, I am making a nub tail for my suit so that I am more easily able to walk around and sit at cons in full suit. So I've made a smaller variation of my already very, very large and cumbersome tail. Oh, the prices we pay for swishy big tails. Generally with tails, I like to add registration marks, numbers, and other indicators that I am able to line up the design after it has been cut so I am able to put everything together again. Here you see I'm cutting and setting everything aside in preparations for cutting out the fur. The tail has a ton of pieces and many small parts, so it is imperative to keep everything together and well labeled. As always, trace and cut it out on your fur. I have covered this in many of my older tutorial videos, so please visit those if you need a refresher on how to cut and sew fur properly, as I only will briefly go over that here. Generally, I like to work from the middle out and I will hand sew a tail with this many markings before I machine sew the piece to avoid any twisting or damage to the markings.
Once the tail is sewn partially, I will work to add in the tail cap. For this, I used fleece and minky fabrics for a simple tail gut pattern, and then I straight stitched the design before embroidering around the markings, which I didn't seem to video here and I will have to show that at a later time, so sorry about that. Once this is sewn, I will then make the belt loops. For this, I actually realized that the piece of the fleece I had was a bit too stretchy the way I had sewn it, so if you are making a tail cap for yourself, I would consider using something with a bit less stretch for the tail base. I'd recommend a heavy canvas or double layer your fleece so the two-way stretch isn't that bad. Hindsight is 2020 for this though, and is always a great learning experience for future suits. So just be careful and use your best judgment there. Once you are ready, you can machine sew this to the top of the tail. You would have not sewn the entirety of the two tail halves together, but instead left an opening somewhere in the middle of the bottom half so that you can flip the tail right side out for stuffing. Once the tail is stuffed, you can now sew that opening shut with an invisible stitch and tie it off. Always remember to tuck your thread before you cut so you don't have those loose strings hanging out of the right side of the fabric. Now, slide your tail through a belt loop or whatever you're using to wear yours and give it a test. Extra swishy and bouncy. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and as always, if something didn't make sense, please leave a comment below and I'm happy to assist. And if you learned something or enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to like and subscribe. While you're at it, Please check out my other tutorial videos, which I will have linked in the description below, especially if you are looking to build your own suit. You can also find me on TikTok and Instagram at Kimono Dungeon. That's all for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you next week in the next video. Bye.